All right, Park Jam 2019, just about to load up into the Palm Van and cruise around the country for the next two weeks to go kayaking with the next generation of mini senders. This is gonna be such an awesome couple of weeks. Here we go. Park Jam 2019, done and dusted, wrapped up. A huge thank you to everyone that makes this happen, right? The sponsors, Palm, Piranha, Jewelstone, thank you so much for working together to send me around the country. Janice Lowe, thank you for crushing the dates and the times and, and the water releases and all of, all of the stuff that I'm not good at. Um, Joe Ray Dickens, thanks for crushing the filming and the daily edits. I really appreciate it. And most of all, thank you to everyone that came out and went kayaking with me. I had such an awesome time. I don't get to spend that many days of the year kayaking in the UK, but I really enjoy it when I get the chance to. And that's part of why I really enjoy cruising around the UK, because I get to see all the local kayaking communities and kayak with you at your local spots. And uh, I have a blast. So thank you to everyone for just making it really fun. Throughout the park jam, I was taking down notes of a couple of key highlights from each venue. And I, I mean, I have pages of this stuff. There were so many great moments that if I tried to put them all in one video, we'd be here for an hour and it just wouldn't work. So instead, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of them right here. All right, number one, the community at Cardiff. This is absolutely just exceptional. The other venues do a great job of getting kids into the sport as well, but Cardiff is the gold standard. It is just unbelievable how many kids they manage to get out on the water and the talent and the progression that the kids have each year. Like every year I come back, the kids that I've met a few years ago have gotten better and better and better and better. And it's just, it's, it's like almost unimaginable progress really. Like Brogan and Senna, Ben, the Crossy kids, the, the, the Bun kids, you know, like you guys are just so sick. It's, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. And every time I go down, there's more and more kids popping up and I just think it's incredible. So big thanks to everyone at Cardiff that gets the kids out on the water and just makes the sport so accessible in, at that venue. You, you guys rock. Um, another one here, a lot of the times in the in the videos we feature the kids doing like really impressive things like the, like the really talented kids and um, and I love I love putting them in the videos and I absolutely love that like the upper end of it but I also love the other sides of it and this one kid, I think his name was Matt, I, I really hope I got that right if I didn't I'm sorry but I've, I've met so many people this past two weeks it's been hard to keep track of names anyway, Matt was like this this 15, 16 year old kid and he swam like 15 times uh, on our day at Teesside and every single time he would just pop up, self rescue his kayak, empty it and get straight back in. And I just really enjoyed seeing this kid's like toughness and tenacity and just positivity throughout it. And I think the kid's gonna get really, really good over the years if he keeps at it with that attitude, it's, it's brilliant. But to see like the start of the sport as well as like the, the kids that already have a good handle on how to do do cool things on whitewater is, is really special to me and 
Um, yeah, I, I'm stoked on it. Another highlight for me at Teesside was meeting young Jamie, and I saw Jamie do do a couple of good runs down the, the easier course, and he had pretty good technique and a pretty good understanding of water and a feel for it, but he wasn't that confident about hitting the short course on his own. And, you know, I... I completely get that because he's 12 years old, he's pretty small, and that hole on the short course is massive. And Teesside lent me a duo, put Jamie in the front, and then we just had a blast on the short course. It was so much fun. We were surfing the wave, high-fiving people, hitting that huge hole at the bottom, and that thing is so powerful. On, on one of our laps down, Jamie almost got ripped out the front of the kayak. It was, it was wild. Um, but we had a couple of good laps and some smooth lines too, and it was just so much fun. I had an absolute blast sharing like a, a big powerful piece of water with a kid that didn't feel confident about experiencing it on his own so i, I really enjoyed that it was, it was cool and the last stop of the tour pinkston right temperatures had been dropping hard throughout the two weeks and then we went up north and it was even colder it was freezing cold the temperatures were really low but the stoke was so high and uh my my biggest thanks to bruce joliffe and, and all the people involved at, at that white water park for getting the local community involved and to the scots for coming down and braving the cold like it was nothing but i didn't expect it to be a good turnout but we had a bunch of people there and i had an absolute awesome time there despite pinkston being the smallest park we go to it's still wicked you can still learn a lot and, and again the atmosphere is just incredible but by far my biggest highlight, the thing that I find coolest is that no matter where you go in the country, there are communities based around just trying to make the sport accessible to everybody. And with that comes a new generation of just absolute, amazingly talented youngsters. And the future is so bright. I am stoked to see where it goes over the next few years. And a huge thanks to everyone that is a part of that. You guys rock. Thank you to everyone that came out and kayaked with me. I had an awesome time. I hope you guys did too. Um, have an amazing winter and I'll catch you guys next year.